Warning, the following video was made completely using AI. I got tired of waiting for Tears of the Kingdom to come out, so I asked ChatGPT to predict the game's plot. Then, I used Eleven Labs to make it sound like Zelda was the person talking. Finally, I used multiple AI image generators such as Dolly to get a visual of what the plot of Tears of the Kingdom might look like. I hope you enjoy. Greetings, adventurer. I am Princess Zelda, the ruler of Hyrule, and I have an exciting tale to share with you. Once upon a time, Link and I set out to explore the depths beneath Hyrule Castle. Armed with our trusty swords and shields, we descended into the dark and winding tunnels, seeking the secrets that lay hidden there. As we descended deeper and deeper, we stumbled upon an ominous chamber that was sealed with an enchanted barrier. Without hesitation, Link drew his sword and shattered the barrier, revealing a room with the remains of Ganon, the evil creature that had once terrorized our land. Suddenly, we heard a rumbling sound, and before we knew it, Ganon came back to life. Ganon attacked us, and in the chaos, he managed to corrupt Link's arm with his dark magic. Link fought valiantly to resist the corruption, but in the end, Link was left with no choice but to retreat. Ganon quickly captured me, and I found myself imprisoned in his dark castle. But that's when I remembered the legends of the floating islands in the sky. I knew that Link had to journey there and find a way to defeat Ganon once and for all. I knew it would be a perilous journey, but I had faith in Link's strength and courage. I communicated with Link through telepathy, guiding him on his journey and warning him of the dangers he would face, all while leaving me behind to wait and hope for his safe return. On his journey, Link faced many challenges along the way. He battled fierce monsters, explored treacherous dungeons, and solved puzzles to find the pieces of the Triforce. Then he made his way to Ganon's lair. The day arrived when Link faced Ganon in a final showdown. It was a fierce battle, but sadly, Link was fatally wounded. As he lay dying, he whispered to me the name of the one who would take his place, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I couldn't believe it, but I trusted Link's judgment. Enter Dwayne the Rock Johnson, a mighty warrior and champion of justice. He hears of the plight of Hyrule and comes to aid in its time of need. With his bulging muscles and indomitable will, Dwayne takes on the challenge of defeating Ganon and rescuing me from his clutches. Ganon may be a formidable foe, but Dwayne is not one to back down from a fight. He uses his incredible strength to smash through Ganon's minions and his quick reflexes to dodge the Dark Lord's attacks. In a final epic showdown, Dwayne and Ganon clash in a battle that shakes the very foundations of Hyrule. With his sword in hand and his muscles bulging, Dwayne unleashes a flurry of attacks on Ganon, ultimately delivering the final blow that defeats the Dark Lord once and for all. As a token of gratitude, I gave Dwayne a kiss on the cheek. But to my surprise, he leaned in and kissed me on the lips. We fell deeply in love, and soon we were married in a grand ceremony in the heart of Hyrule Castle. And that, my friend, is the story of how a brave hero and a princess found love and saved the world. Love.